Hi everyone. Alright, so a couple of things. First, um, I'm sick. I have a cold, and I don't know if you can tell when I talk um, that I have a cold, but I do. And so I'm sorry if you can't really understand what I'm saying. Um, and second, I don't have any makeup on. It's like 12.30 in the morning, at night, in the morning. I don't know, it's kind of like tomorrow, but still, I think, still think it's today. So I don't have any makeup on, and I was just bored, and I figured I need to make a video. And so I just decided to, after I took my shower, um, I actually took a bath, actually, because I'm sick. But after that, I just, I, I sat around for a little bit, and I was like, you know, Kristen, let's just make another video. So that's what I'm going to do today. So sorry if you can't understand me, or you are <laughs> turned off by what I look like right now, but... This is what I look like. So, alright, so today I'm actually going to do products that I kind of regret buying. Um, things that I thought that were going to be great. Um, thought that um, they had a good, um, good, what's it called? Like retail strategy or um, packaging or things like that that kind of make a product look more appealing to people who are going to buy it. And so these are the kind of things I have. Let's see. One, two, three. I have six products. Um, three of the products go for one um, company, one makeup brand, so to say, <clears throat> one collection. And then the rest three. Um, most of the products, except for one, you can buy at a drugstore. And all of them, I know for sure that you can buy at Ulta. Um, because <clears throat> I know that Al Alta does sell drugstore products, so, um, yeah, so let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I have is the NYX Lip Smacking Fun Colors in 501 Iris, and it looks like this. Now, I was with Kayla when I bought this. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I was actually with Kayla. I bought, I bought this actually at Alta, but I know some drugstores do have NYX products, but I think it was like four dollars. It wasn't. It wasn't expensive at all. But I looked at the color. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be really pretty. Now I looks a little gold <coughs> on screen, but it is actually like a peaches peach ish coral color, kind of shimmery. I was like, you know what? This is really pretty. And I kind of swatched it on my hand. I was like, that'll look really good. No, on my lips it looks so frosted. It's not even funny. Like. I really like this color, and I was just like, I, I, I really want it to be that way. But, like, when I swatched it, like, I don't know if you can tell. No, you can totally not tell. But, like, it looks darker than it is. But when you stick it on your lips, it is so frosted. It just looks so tacky, and I really wish that it wasn't that way. But, <clears throat> Now I know, like, their their lipsticks are really good quality, and I like them. I just don't like this color, and I really just wish I wouldn't have bought this one because it, it looks so tacky. It doesn't look like it's a good quality makeup. It just looks like um like a, something that you'd buy in, like, a kit or, like, something you'd get some little girl who's, like, into makeup and stuff like that. That's what, that's what, oop, that's what I'd probably buy this for, but not, it's definitely not what it looks like. It looks definitely dark and not as shimmery, but... So, one product we're about buying. <clears throat> the second product, this is the only one you can't buy at a drugstore, which is the Ulta eyeshadows. They look like this. Um, I, this color, I think, is called Amethyst. <clears throat> and it's, like, purple color. Yeah, definitely cannot tell on the screen, or the lighting, that it's purple. But it's, like, a, a gr like, a dark purple, but it's, like, I got a gray undertone, almost. And I really like purple, and I like purple eyeshadows a lot. I think it brings out my eyes. I don't know if it does for real, but I think it does. But, and it's shimmery, and I really liked it. Now, in the store, you can't swatch these. Um, or can you? I can't remember if you can or not. They might have the ones that are, like, sitting open like this, and then the ones behind it. I think that might be it. But when I swatched it, like, look. Does that, like, look? You're like, yes, good. This is good. I really like this. And so I was like... But it, like, if you swatch it, it looks good. But then, like, when you rub it on your hand, like, oh, whoa. Like, it, it doesn't show up at all. Like, you see the little two little spots? Like, it doesn't show up at all. So when I put it on my eyes, it does not, like, give me the look that I want. It's very, very sheer. And very, like, it's shimmery, but very sheer. Like, if, 
if you're probably starting off with makeup and you don't want to go with a bold look yet or if you're looking for something that's very subtle this is definitely what you want to go for now I don't know how the other ones are for the uh, the Ulta eyeshadows but this one definitely way sheer not what I expected I really wanted something more pigmented this was not not it so I do kind of regret buying this I might actually buy another color to see um because I don't want to just judge on this one saying oh this this the Ulta eyeshadows are terrible because I don't want to do that so I might buy another one um just like maybe like a simple sh shade um to see if it's any better than that so there's another one number two all right, so the next one, or I guess we'll go with the next three. Let's see. Yeah, because they're all from the um, Neutrogena, <clears throat> like, uh, I have these. Foundation, um, pressed powder, and blemish concealer. Neutrogena Cosmetics. Sorry, I didn't finish my thought there. <coughs> now, I have skin that's really prone to breaking out. I don't know if you could tell, like... Since I don't have any makeup on, yeah, you can definitely tell. Like, do you see what I mean? Don't have perfect skin. I really am prone to breaking out. I have very oily skin. So the products, like the Neutrogena products, do you see? Neutro where it says skin clearing, mineral powder. Um, same with these ones. Uh, skin clearing, oil free makeup. I, I. So I got these, and then I got the blemish control stick. And so this is, yeah, blemish concealer sorry and number 10 light and this I I don't know if you can tell but do you see where the product is right there yeah I had to literally crank this up like it twist like can you hear that like it twists upwards and I literally had to twist it 50 times to like get it up to here and I still each time I have to twist it five times for product to come out and so it goes up further and farther so there's literally not that much product in here and I was really disappointed at the fact that I spent money on this and it didn't really do much for me and it was like actually too dark for my skin and I have pretty like it doesn't even look that dark but it actually is and I I really didn't like it I was really disappointed at how much product there wasn't in this right here and I, I don't really think it did anything for um, Helping control the acne or covering up the acne it was kind of just like a normal concealer. Just, it had very little product in it. <clears throat> so there's that one. The pressed powder. Um, well, actually, let me do the foundations. Foundations, I got two foundations. The reason I got two is I normally always buy two. I always buy a lighter shade and a darker shade. Normally mix them together equals perfect shade. Um, normally. Um, but I actually got the number 10 ivory and number 30 buff. I don't know if you can tell. Wow. Yeah, you can tell that this one's definitely darker. And this one's lighter. Well, I kind of mix them together. Good shade. Definitely didn't give me the coverage that I wanted and made my face break out. Um, now, all these products have like um, have an active ingredient called salicylic acid. I don't know if I mentioned this in my winter video or not. But they have salicylic acid, which is um, an ingredient that helps to control oil. Um, so that it helps to prevent breakouts. That's basically what it is. And you see, find that a lot in acne medications. Um, but these makeup products, all of them, this one too, have that bet in it. And I don't know if it was just too much, like an over amount of the ingredient on my skin, which made it dry out and were prone to breaking out. But there's just, this just didn't work. And it broke me out. And I used this to go over top of it. Um, in like, I don't know, I'll try to open it up. It's like one of those, and then like, it opens up and you have two sided. This one's if you want like a sheer coverage, and this one's if you want fuller coverage side, little, little circle pad thing. And there's a mirror on that side, but I'd use this to go over top. I always put powder over top of my foundations, but this, um, it looks, it actually is lighter than it looks in camera. It looks really what light, but like in actual light it looks kind of dark and you're like oh, I'm not sure but it actually is lighter than it seems but it's very sheer and when I put like this on and then I put this on top of it my face looks really cakey really uneven no matter how hard I tried to blend it in it just really wasn't something that I was trying to look for and I actually used this for about a month this whole little combination of set things for about a month and it just did not work for me and I actually went back to the what the foundation I'm 
currently use and I don't I just don't know because now I kind of am out the money for these I mean they were on sale but I'm still out the money but um I, I think I might have just been too much with my acne medication and like this too so a little too much for my skin would not buy it again I don't I don't really know if I like the Neutrogena products but um, these ones, the, the skin clearing ones, were just definitely not for me. <clears throat> Alright, so the last product I have is the Revlon Photo, Photo Ready Compact Powder in number 10 Fair Light. And it looks like this. I don't know if you can tell the size of this thing. Like, it's not square at all. It's definitely a very large compact container. Like, compared to this, do you notice how the size difference? It's very slim. Now I've heard a lot about the Revlon products and um, the Revlon Photo Ready. Everyone's been talking about it. but <clears throat> So I got this. I don't have the foundation, the Photo Ready foundation, but I bought the press powder because I use, all, I, like I said, I use press powder to go over for my foundation to help it stay longer. But this, I, I mean it looks really white in the camera obviously, but this just wasn't what I expected. I don't like, first of all, I don't like the packaging. It's big and it's odd shaped. Like, there's the mirror. Like, do you see the mirror? And then the little brush. I don't, I hate, I hate these brushes. They're pointless. I don't know what they put them in there for. Save the space. <coughs> Take out the brush. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> this, I just, I don't know. It, I, I don't know if I got too light of a color, but every time I put it on, it makes me look very, very pale and very white. And now I'm pale. As you can tell, like, my skin is very pale. Like, I... And so this, I thought, was... This is actually, I think, shade two. Is it the second shade? I'm not sure. But this, I, I just didn't like it. I It didn't give me the kind of look I wanted. And it does not stay all day. Like, I literally, I had to re reapply this, and I feel like I was just caking on more makeup, and it just really wasn't that. And I don't know if it was because I got too light of a shade, which probably could be, but this, this is not cheap. This, I don't even know how much this was. 14 bucks, I think? Which is a lot for just a compact where you can just buy, you know, like a cheaper one that does a better job. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'm turned off by the fact that it um, is too light for my skin or if it's bad packaging it it doesn't give me kind of the the pressed powder look I want it's it's actually kind of sparkly and it's not the kind I wanted more of a matte powder because if I have like a dewy or foundation I want more of a matte powder but this is it, it just it has sparkles in it so I'm it's kind of turned off by that so there's that one <clears throat> So those are the products that I kind of regret buying. I mean, they may work, they may not work for me, but they may work for you. And I'm not trying to say don't buy these because they're the ter most terrible products ever. And I'm giving reasons why I don't like them personally, but you may like them for another reason. Like I said, I don't like this product, but you may rant and rave about how awesome it is and how it's clears your skin so I'm not trying to diss any of the products that I've shown I'm not trying to say that they're terrible products don't buy them it's just that they didn't work for me and that's why I kind of regret buying them because I was kind of pulled in by what they looked like from the outside or what I've heard about them so and now that I know that I tried them I want to try to give my reviews to you guys so that um you can kind of take in consideration maybe before you buy the products um kind of how they're going to turn out to be so I hope this was informative informative, and you enjoyed my video. I'm sorry that I'm sick and if you can't understand me, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I look like a teenage boy. <laughs> but um, I hope that everyone has a great rest of the night and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.